Welcome to the Altoona Mirror YouTube channel, and I'm Neil Rudell. I'm sitting in somewhat for Scott Franco, if anybody could replace him. Joined by Mike Boydham. Um, we're previewing the special section that the Mirror has put out on Bishop Guilfoyle's fourth state championship in football. Uh, Mike was there, did a great job covering the game, and defeated Red Bank uh, Valley, and um, and we have a special section that will appear this weekend edition. Mike did a great job. There's a lot of good content in there. Hopefully uh, the BG community, the high school football community uh, will enjoy it. Yeah, this is the type of thing that if you're a BG fan, um, it's going to be something I think you want to keep. Uh, I, I um, Tyrone baseball won a state championship earlier this year, and I went to Tyrone, and I I went and got, and I'm not promoting anything here, but I got myself a plaque made of it just because it was a neat thing for the community, and this is a great thing for the BG community. Um, I think it's going to be, it's 12 pages. Um, Nick Anna, that works for us here, he did a great job. There's a, there's a great picture page with the mon, with the, with a collage of all the photos that we had from the state championship. These are photos that weren't in the regular section. So, uh, there's a lot of really great stuff. There's, uh, the stats from all the district six. If you were a District 6 football player and you played in a state championship and you caught a pass or you had a carry, those stats are all in there in this thing. Yeah, it's a, a really good job. Uh, Mike uh, put his best foot forward uh, with you know a commentary on, on BG's program, looking ahead to next year, some of the behind the scenes, the, the coaching staff, uh, many of the assistant coaches have been there uh, a number of years. Uh, and, and, you know, when you look at BG's program, uh, you know, they're capturing now in football what they have had in girls basketball and boys basketball. Yeah, and girls basketball had just won their seventh state championship in in Mar March, or eight, yeah, in March, and um, now a great year for BG as they win their fourth state championship. And Obviously, only the fifth state championship from District 6 in the history of the football, with Tyrone being the other one. Yeah, and BG, I mean, when you look at their sports history, because we were putting this together, um, you know, they won seven girls state championships, uh, dating back uh, 40 years to get into the early 80s. And they had two, um, whether they were PCIAA titles in the mid 67 and also 70. Uh, so BG really has a rich history, but they have a football program that now is just really churning out really good players, and they've been a leader in the state. Yeah, it's become that they've won it. When you talk about 1A football, you talk about BG. You talk about Southern Columbia at 2A and Aliquip at whatever they are, since they have any, been any class up. Yeah, right. <laughs> but uh, it's just uh, something that I... I would really recommend to any BG fan, player, uh, just go out and pick up a, a paper this, this weekend. It'll be included within the regular section and it's, uh, it's like I said, 12 pages and we really put our best foot forward and hope you enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, the, we talk about uh, whether it's sports coverage or news coverage and, and not just us, but all newspapers, all media covers you know, how well do you do on the big event? Well, the state championship game is the big event. And because it is a keepsake, and you see whether it's Tyrone or Bellwood or Central, and we've been fortunate around here to have so many Altoona, uh, you know, obviously the Altoona girls program at, at one time, um, you know, to be at that state level. And you see these plaques of the mirror hanging in their lobbies yeah. because it is a keepsake. And, um, you know, when you look at, you know, some of the history, that's what the media is trying to chronicle, uh, the history, and, uh, and that's what we did. And, you know, look at Justin Wheeler, the kind of career he's carving for himself. He certainly has had opportunities to go other places, either locally or around the state. Yeah, just congratulations to them. Great job. Uh, he's, and people have forgotten BG was around 500, a 500 team before he got there. His first season, he only won one game. I mean, it's, it's not like BG's had this long dominance in, in football. It seems like that now because of the last decade, but 
they, he, they, they have done an excellent job transforming that program and like I said, it's it's definitely worth your time to go out and get this. And they have they have a lot back. You have a story on that. They have a number of key yep. returnees, right? Yep. They Carson Kesey Wetter, quarterback Cooper Rother, the running back, both juniors, Dominic Yanishak, Sante Bombachi, one yeah. of one of Scotty's favorite uh, names. Um, all those kids are going to be back, and uh, you know they, they they could be just as good next year. And just to put a bow on this, Mike, you know, as we head into uh, you know, the holiday season, basketball, wrestling uh, have now started. Uh, and you mentioned it's been a great year for sports despite despite the pandemic, you know, this last year or so. When you talk about uh, Tyrone baseball and, and, and BG basketball and, and whatnot, BG football, Central obviously had a great year in football, lost to the, defense, lost to the state champion really by... Um, Basically a touchdown. Yeah, one or two plays could have went changed that game in the semifinals. So, yeah, uh, and and you know, she's going to be plenty of things to look forward to in the future too. With Central and Tyrone baseball will be going at it again this summer. BG boys, the BG boys were a basket away from making the state championship last year. So, I mean, they're going to be trying to get back to that level. Uh, they've just played for a state championship a couple of years ago with Josiah Weatherspoon and, and uh, Luke Ruggery there, who's now at St. Francis. So, yeah, just uh, a lot of great sports happening in our area lately. Okay, well, um, enjoyed uh, stepping in here with you, Mike. Congratulations on your uh, BG and your high school uh, coverage. Dan Eisenberg, uh, our tech behind the glass there, as, as they would say. And um, Neil Riddell, wishing you a uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and we'll see you real soon.